the here we see a sm small part drawing in solid walls and this dimension to be radius 65 and here radius 33 and hole is 40 center to center hole is 200 and overall height to be 20 250 and flange thickness to be 25 the meaning all we see these details also we will add it in the drawing we'll see go to the top line and sketch and go to the circle and make a circle and again with reference to center line make a two circles both sides and this select this both circle make it equal then go to dimension and make this to be radius uh, 66 into 2 so it will be in diameter so this to be 33 into 2 ok and, and this to be 100 and origin to if it not select you select the circle circle to circle and this to be 100 so overall 200 we need so select uh, it shows in radius now so right click select the dimension and right click display as diameter again right click go to display option display as radius so you can see again in radius you can see in radius then go to line don't select this point select the circle and to the another circle it shows the tangent so when you see the tangent then select the circle again when you see the tangent then click it again tangent click it again circle to tangent click it ok then go to the trim and select the power trim then trim it in this inside everything then ok select the circle and check it where is the tangent here tangent is there here tangent is there this end is uh, here we check here here there is no tangent so make it tangent again check it tangent there is no tangent there see so make it tangent here this circle and uh, this line this line here all all the line please ensure the all the lines it should be in tangent then exit the sketch then go to extrude then we have to extrude this flange for 25 thick then ok then select this surface and sketch and normal go to circle and select the circle and make a circle and the diameter to be 90 ok and extrude then go to extrude extrude the this uh, 225 ok this balance is 225 flange is 25 overall 250 and select the surface and uh, go to sketch and make a circle and this diameter to be 50 ok and this time we need to go for extrude cut and go to cut up to the surface select the surface ok it will cut up to the surface then go to the chamfer chamfer we have seen in the drawing 5mm so select the, this face and again this circle we need chamfer the this circle and that circle ok and almost done again select the plane front plane normal front plane sketch normal and change to the hidden lines so we can easily see that tone so we make a cut here so we go to rectangle and make a 
make dimension to be 100 and this to be 5 mm and this to be 5 mm and this to be 15 mm okay and fillet make fillet for this radius is to be 5 mm radius both said 5 mm okay then click ok then go to the no extrude cut this time revolved cut we, we should be round so we need a reference line reference axis so select here the reference axis and click ok be like this so again go to hidden line again front plane sketch again take the rectangle and make a rectangle and make a dimension here to here a dimension to be 62 and this height to be 5 mm and make a radius for radius uh, go to fillet this time we go with 3 mm Okay. Again, this time also we make a extrude, not extrude cut. On this dimension, we need to make put it a ten mm. Okay. Then this time we go to revolve cut. Again, this time also revolve cut, and select the axis. We already have an axis, so okay. And this also done. I'll change to the solid body and select this surface and normal and go to the circle and make a circle and select this two circle equal again make a dimension 40 and this time also extrude cut this time we go with extrude cut extrude cut for 10 mm okay again select the area which is this surface and sketch and make a circle on both side circle make this two circle equal and uh, put a dimension 34 extrude cut make it up to surface so you can select the surface so it will be go to up to surface again go to chamfer and put the chamfer how much this time we go 3 mm in the drawing it shows 3 mm so we it should be 3 mm so 3 mm ok select the both circle and click ok ok this is how we make a simple part drawing in SOLIDWORKS ah, we missed to go to the front plane sketch and normal we have to make a gazette so select uh, from here don't select here put it here and make it connection and horizontal so it will be now we can make a dimension this to be 100 mm from axis to center to end to be 75 ok now this is done exit the sketch and make it extrude boss and make it middle middle plane and this thickness to be 10 mm ok done now we want to mirror this one mirror the object first select check that plane go to the mirror and select the plane so plane uh, extract this and select the right plane and select the body and it is done this is how we make a simple uh, part drawing in SOLIDWORKS change the color as you like thanks for watching
एंड डू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल